since posting my original video about how to control the mono price and Dayton Audio um, DAX66 whole home audio amps, I've gotten a lot of feedback about people wanting an Android app. Um, these amps are really popular and a lot of people really like the videos that I've done detailing these. Now, I didn't write the iOS app, but over the last two weeks I have written the very first Android app which can control these amplifiers. So right now the first version is available with updates coming in the future to get an even better experience. Um, it does require the iTac Flex and the Flex Links Link cable as stated in my previous video where I was talking about that iOS app and how you could control these amps wirelessly. However, I'm also working on a Raspberry Pi method that would also replace that iTac Flex and it would allow for an even cheaper method for those who want a DIY solution. But for now, um, I don't have that and so we're just going to stick with the iTac Flex and for those that wouldn't want a DIY solution, you should just stick with the iTac Flex, iTac Flex because I'm going to always support that in my app. Um, but I am working on a Raspberry Pi solution. So let's get into the demo. I'm going to start with um, a bare installation and I'm going to show how to configure the app. Um, the app is $4.99 on the Google Play Store. Now keep in mind that what you're seeing in this video is the very first published version. Um, so if you're watching this video down the road and the app looks different, then I probably published a facelift and um, you know, made the app better. But for now, this is what it looks like and uh, this is what we're going to be going over. In one of my other videos I detailed how to set up the iTac Flex device and this is just an app overview so I'm going to work under the assumption that you already got that iTac device set up. Um, it's, they're very easy to set up so if you're watching this video thinking that it's too complicated this whole setup it, it's really not. So on initial launch you're going to be presented with a screen that says that you need to configure the IP address and so um, clicking on the menu bar will give you some options and we'll go ahead and go into the settings and start the configuring it. So you need to enter in the IP address of the iTac device. So let's do that now for mine. Um, if you experience any issues, you can increase this command timeout right here. But for now, we're going to keep it at 1. And if you're experiencing any timeouts, maybe increase it to, do, to 2. But for now, I recommend leaving it at 1. Um, I've written the app to be compatible with the regular iTac device. So if you already owned an iTac WF2SL or IP2SL model, then you just need to check this box here and say that you're not using the Flex. Um, I recommend still the, the preferred version is the Flex model because it's smaller and the commands seem to respond better, but by all means if you have one of those other devices, you can uh, set that in the settings here and it'll be compatible with that. So moving along, we can customize the, the app to whatever color theme you want. Um, you just have to enter in the six-digit hex color, and the best way to get those numbers is just to go online to a, a hex color picker. And you can just enter in the hex numbers here, and you can customize the background, the text, and the buttons. So next, we just need to enter in the zone names. The app has support for all 18 zones, so if you have three of these units chained together um, in an 18 by 6 matrix, then all you have to do is just enter in the names of those zones that correspond to them correctly on the amp. So I only have six, so let's just go ahead and enter in my six. All right, when you're done, go ahead and scroll down and let's enter in the sources. So I only have three. Again, you only want to enter in the amount of zones that you have actually hooked up and the amount of sources that you have hooked up. So, you know, if, you, if for some reason you only had source uh, or you know zone one and three hooked up for whatever reason you skip two then only enter in zone one and three don't don't enter in uh, one and two because you don't have a second one hooked up on that amp you only have one and three once you're done with all these uh, settings go ahead and hit the back button and the app will actually cont attempt to connect to your iTac Flex and it will query all the zones and then it will report back what the current status is of everything. If there's ever an issue, it's going to display a message. Um, so from here, we're really done setting it up. That's all you have to do and the app's ready to use. So here's um, all of the zones. If we want to turn one on, we can just click the power button. You can see that it's currently at volume 9 and we're on Chromecast Wireless. 
And if we want to change that source, we can just click on the settings for that source. And we can see that here's the sources that we configured, and we can just switch those right here. Um, you know, you can also change the bass and the treble. You can see that we've got it at 7 and 7, and you can also change the balance. Um, you can go ahead and turn it off, turn it back on, you know, grab the slider, and you can see that the volume's changing. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really neat app. It's the first Android app um, to control these units. Um, I'm going to be making updates, like I said, and I have also got some quick buttons here. I've got an all zones on, so that's going to go ahead and turn everything on. It's going to query all the zones, and then it's going to report back the current volume and what source it's on. And then we've also got a quick all zones off button that's going to turn all the zones off. So I um, hope you guys like this app. I hope you guys find it useful. It's finally, you know, here to Android. And I'm uh, going to answer any questions you guys have. Just leave them in the comments. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this and hope everybody finds it useful. Thanks.